Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Today is Friday, July 5th. I hope everybody had a good holiday. And uh, let's, we are looking at our swing trades here. Now, this is the ES, uh, the futures. So I've taken out all the old drawings because that pattern is no longer valid. And as you can see, we've punched through those levels. We are at, uh, we are, in terms of the SPX, we are going to be very close to 3000. And so this is, I expect this to be a resistance zone just because it's a huge, huge uh, round number. It is an all time high for the S&P. And whenever it hits these uh, big round numbers, 2,500, 3,000, uh, you always had some kind of resistance there because uh, there are bears that uh, don't want it to go past that. Uh, so there's going to be a battle there. Good thing for us, many of our trades are doing fantastic. So, for example, Costco, it was a good choice. Costco went up by almost four or five dollars on Wednesday. And so you can see up the position has turned into a very nice profit. Similarly, we have, uh, we have Visa as well. Visa has also gone up to 176. Uh, Adobe is on fire. However, we do need to recover some more. Facebook, which we opened uh, just recently, is also doing very well. Now, given that there, I expect some resistance here, uh, what I want to do is book profits. This is the day we've been waiting for. We want to book profits on many of these trades. So I'm going to close Costco. I'm going to close Facebook. I'm going to close Visa. All of them are between 20 and 25% returns. Uh, the Visa might be a little more because we have a debit spread here. So it could be up to 40%. Regardless, as you can see on Visa, both of these, uh, you know, not both of this, the, the long call uh, is going to be in the money and the short call might go in the money also. And so uh, we want to take this off. We want to take off uh, uh, Facebook and we want to take off uh, uh, Costco. Apple, I'm not so sure. It's not a whole lot of profit. It's just 15%. However, I think we can keep Apple uh, and Adobe and uh, as well as Baidu. Uh, gold is a, is a sort of a hedge. We have 42 days, so I'm going to keep that as well. Netflix is an iron condor, and so we're just going to let some time decay happen. And we may want to push the call side over to the 410 level, but uh, we don't need to do that today. Let's wait for the weekend and uh, uh, look at this on Monday. And then finally, Shopify, we are, it, it's moved up nicely, but uh, we've seen some time decay come in. And so also the volatilities have been reducing, and that's why we're not showing a profit here. Uh, it, it, we, I think we got into the trade when Shopify was around 305 or 306. So it's gone up nicely. However, we are not seeing the profit because the implied volatilities have just been getting crushed. And so if you look at the market watch also, uh, we have the volatility index, uh, which is the, uh, the VIX. The, the VIX is at 12.5. It's, it's very, very low. So and it's been coming down from a high level. So all of these stocks, we've been seeing some uh, implied volatility crush as well. Now, there are some good candidates uh, for, for, for taking a, a trade. I, I would say Goldman Sachs looks pretty good over here. Uh, other than that, Netflix also looks good, but we already have a trade on Netflix. Other than that, uh, we just, you know, we're just going to close some of these existing trades for today. And I want to see what kind of a battle happens with the S&P for today. And then we'll take uh, new trades on Monday. So just to recap, we're going to close. Uh, we're going to close Costco. The nice profit. We're going to close Facebook. And we're going to close Visa for today. Those are the trades uh, we are going to close. There's no adjustments. Uh, let's take this into Monday and then uh, look for the look for new trades. Most importantly, I want to see the price action on the S&P today before we take any uh, any, any more uh, new trades uh, because there's bound to be a battle, as I said, on this big round number. So that's it for today. Thank you.